Welcome to the viewpoint demo video of the Create interface. In this video, you'll get a tour of the main features that you would use to create a simulation in Viewpoint. What you're seeing now is the Viewpoint homepage, where you'll be taken when you first log into Viewpoint. At this page, you can see all of the simulations that you're a part of. For this demo, we're going to be using this office dinner simulation. To go to the Create interface, we'll click the Edit button. This view is what you'd see when you're creating a simulation in Viewpoint. This first overview tab is where you can put some basic descriptive info for your simulation. In this example simulation, the objective is to get the office members to decide where they want to go for the company dinner. Next, let's take a look at the Groups and Roles tab. At this screen, you can create all of the roles you want to have in the simulation, and you can also make groups to organize the roles into. One thing to note here is that roles can belong to multiple groups. For example, a politician role in a simulation might be part of the group for their political party, but also part of a special advisory group for a certain topic. When putting roles into groups, you want to start by thinking about workflow. Putting certain roles into groups may make sense when those people will work together a lot, share similar resources, and have similar calendar events. Some examples of groups that have been created for viewpoint simulations are decision-making bodies, stakeholders, experts, or media. For a political simulation, you might have a group named Executive Branch, and roles in that group could include President and Vice President. For a business simulation, you might have a group named Acme Incorporated, and roles in that group could include CEO, CFO, and CIO. Let's now go to the Schedule tab. At this screen, you can build the schedule that participants will follow during the simulation. One of the unique features in Viewpoint is the ability to make branching decision trees in your simulations, so that depending on what the outcome of one event is, you will have another event pop up on the schedule or not. For example, if the group doesn't reach a decision about a restaurant at the office discussion meeting, the final decision meeting event will appear. Another thing to note about the schedule is that the schedule is custom for each participant, meaning that different events will show up for different participants based on which groups they're part of and what events their groups are added to. Next, let's take a look at the Resources tab. At this screen, you can upload resources or links to resources that you want to make available to participants. You can make them available only to a specific role or group, or you can choose to make them available to everyone in the simulation. You can also choose to release a resource at a particular time in the simulation in order to throw a wrench into things in the midst of the process. Next, let's click on Queued Content. At this screen, you can queue up content to be delivered to participants throughout the simulation. These could be messages from one participant to another, news items that go into the news feed, or resources, like we saw in the last window. You'll see under Resources the resource that I just created, and next to it the date and time when it will be released to participants. This ability to queue content is a very helpful feature because it allows simulation creators to do a lot of work ahead of time to script out their simulation. Lastly, let's click on the Surveys tab. In Viewpoint, you can create surveys to have participants vote on issues or decide the outcome of a particular event in the simulation. The results of surveys can be made public or visibility can be restricted to certain groups. That concludes the Viewpoint demo video of the Create interface. Thanks for watching. To learn more, visit viewpoint.ai.umich.edu. For more information about creating simulations in Viewpoint, please visit our authoring guide. To get in touch with our team, please email us at viewpoint.umich.edu.